how to use Lido to stake your ETH so we can get the Ethereum staking rewards. We'll go through how to use Lido, linking up your wallet, getting some Ethereum in there, staking it, and then the rewards we can expect. Timestamps for everything down in the description. Let's come to Lido.fi then. I'll leave a link to Lido in the description as well so you can uh, be sure you're going to the right place, but it's Lido.fi. You can also check that via their Twitter um, just to make sure you're going to the correct uh, protocol because there may be fakes out there. You definitely don't want to be using those, but it's Lido.fi. Now, if we scroll down right here, you can see a few different options. We're going to stake Ethereum on this occasion. So just press stake now. You can see the APR is around about 4.4% as of making this video, but that will change. Press stake now. You're going to come through to this page right here, and then you have to connect a wallet. If I press connect wallet here, um, we're going to choose MetaMask, but as you can see, you do need a Web3 wallet to be able to use Lido and to hold that stake teeth in your wallet to earn the yield. And so we do need a Web3 wallet. You cannot use a centralized exchange. It's not going to work. So what we're going to do is use MetaMask. Now we can go to metamask.io. Uh, Ledger is great as well. Coinbase wallet, Trust wallet, if you have those, as you can see, you can link them up as well. But we'll go over to MetaMask, press download, um, and then we can get a MetaMask wallet. I'm not going to show you the setup for MetaMask in this video. I've got a separate video, which I'll link in the description. But you can use MetaMask, very simple to set up. It takes, you know, five minutes. You can see that video. Now also, if you are staking Ethereum and you're investing, a MetaMask and uh, you know Coinbase wallet, Trust wallet, these are software wallets. I would recommend a hardware wallet like a Ledger or a Trezor. These are going to be more robust and a bit safer if you are investing. Uh, I'll leave some links to Ledger and Trezor down in the description and some videos that go through what those are as well. But if you're investing, a hardware wallet is really recommended. You can use hot wallets as well if you want nothing wrong with them. Uh, so make your decision on which wallet that you actually want to use and we'll use MetaMask for this example. Once we have a wallet, we can use the Lido protocol to take some Ethereum and switch it into staked ETH. So this is how that works before we actually go through with this transaction. Uh, as you can see here, the exchange rate from ETH to staked ETH is one. So in order to use Lido, you actually need Ethereum first and then you can give it to them and they give you back something else called staked ETH. So we need a wallet for this and we need that stake teeth token sitting in our wallet, which is what we use Lido for. So here's how stake teeth actually works under the hood so that you kind of understand the, um, the methodology here. So someone has to have ETH first. So if you want to use Lido, you need to buy ETH on an exchange first and then get that into your wallet. You give ETH to Lido and they do a couple of things with that ETH. The first thing they do is take the ETH and put it on the Ethereum blockchain and stake it. Now that earns a really good yield natively from the Ethereum layer one blockchain. The other thing they do is something called MEV or maximal extractable value. Because Lido run validators and they run infrastructure here, they can make some money out of running the infrastructure. You know, some people give them orders, maybe they order them in separate ways and they earn some extra fees for doing that, or they can um, actually go through some arbitrages, whatever it is, they earn a little bit extra on top. So these two things are happening at the same time and they are earning a yield, whatever that may be. We saw it was around 4% or so at the moment as of making this video. So what they then do is take that profit that they make and pass it back to a completely separate token known as staked Ethereum, STETH. This is known as a liquid staking derivative of ETH because it derives its value from the ETH that's being staked. And it's known as liquid because this is a completely separate token. Staked ETH is actually tradable on the market. And I will show you that if we go to CoinGecko, we can see here Ethereum, the number two coin. But if we go down to number nine, we have Lido staked ETH right here. So this is a completely separate token. Now, as you can see, it trades almost one for one with ETH. ETH right now is 1815 and staked ETH is 1809. So it's basically one for one. Uh, so how does it actually accrue value? It does something called rebasing. You can see that here, it's a rebase token. What this means is that you don't uh, earn yield by having a higher value of the coin. If you hold it in your wallet, you actually get more coins over time. So if you hold one staked ETH, and you hold it for 12 months and the 12 month uh, APY is 4%, you now have 1.04 stake teeth. So you should see this in your wallet that it actually, you get more stake teeth over time, even though the value of each stake teeth is the same, you get more of them through this rebasing method.
As long as we have staked ETH in our wallet, then we can get those staking rewards. One of the easiest ways to do this actually is just to go ahead and buy the thing directly on a centralized exchange. And so we don't have to get fiat currency into Ethereum, then get it out onto the blockchain, then switch it into staked ETH. We can just buy from fiat directly into staked ETH. Uh, Bybit is one exchange that supports Lido staked ETH. As you can see, we're in the spot market here. So we're using US dollar tether to buy it staked Ethereum directly in the open market you can see it's trading around 1814 right now which as we can see is uh you know basically the same price coin gecko is a little bit behind on prices usually so 1814 is the live price for it on bybit right here and you can just buy it directly i'll leave a link to bybit down below they often give trading and deposit bonuses uh, as well um, so you can just buy directly with fiat now you have to withdraw this from the exchange into a web3 wallet you're not going to get the staking rewards on a centralized exchange. It has to be in a Web3 wallet like Metamask, Ledger, Trezor, Coinbase wallet so that it can rebase and accrue those staking rewards. I'll show you exactly how to use Lido step by step, though, if you do want to just switch it directly on Lido. There are some advantages to this, including a guaranteed one for one exchange rate between ETH and staked ETH, especially if you're trading higher volumes. This is going to be good because uh, centralized exchanges may not have the best liquidity for you. So the first thing, obviously, come to Lido, come to stake right here, and then we want to click connect wallet and then connect the wallet that you have. So we're going to click MetaMask right here. Now you can see I've got available to stake. This is my ETH balance. So main thing is here, if you want to use Lido, you do need ETH in your wallet first. So what we're going to do is go over to my Binance right here and we need to withdraw that to our Web3 wallet. So we need to come back and get our wallet address. I'm gonna go over to my MetaMask, just click copy on my wallet address right here. Now, if you're using a hardware wallet linked up to MetaMask, that's good too. Uh, again, I won't go through that in this video. I'll leave links below to videos on how to link up Ledger and Trezor to MetaMask. But whatever your Web3 wallet is, we now go and paste this in right here. And we need to use the Ethereum mainnet network. So Ethereum mainnet, as you can see here, ERC20, it's not gonna work on any other chain. So you need it on the Ethereum mainnet. Uh, only $2 to send that out. Choose the amount of ETH that you want to send out right here. And that's gonna go into your Web3 wallet. Once that has taken place, we can now use the Lido protocol. So available to stake, that's gonna be your ETH balance. And uh, how much you have staked, you might have some already staked, probably not if you're watching this video. You can see the Lido APR right here. So down here you can see you will receive and you can put that in. So I'm gonna put 0.04 in right here and it says you will receive 0.04 staked ETH of course because it's a one for one ratio. You can see the transaction cost max transaction cost here is around $6.48. So this is an Ethereum layer one transaction. So unfortunately more fees right here, um, but that is what it is. And the reward fee is showing 10%. So Lido take 10% off of what they earn. So the Ethereum staking rewards and the MEV, they take 10% from what they earn and take that for themselves and put it in the Lido DAO. That doesn't matter though. You can see the APR here is 4.4%. That's what you're getting. Uh, so once you're happy with that and you've got ETH in your wallet and you're happy that you're gonna pay a transaction fee here, literally just press submit and I'll show you what this looks like. It goes through to MetaMask for a transaction. It says, do you wanna stake this amount with the Lido protocol? And it says, here is the gas fee. It's around $5, so not too bad, and the total amount. Now, if you wanna go ahead and do that, just press confirm. I don't wanna go through with that transaction. I'm gonna press reject, but press confirm. And what happens is you send the Ethereum over to Lido, and then they send you back staked ETH. If you've just performed that transaction and you can't see staked ETH in your wallet, here's how to add the token into your MetaMask. Uh, so the transaction probably did go through, but it's just that the MetaMask hasn't got the staked ETH token. So come down to Lido staked ETH right here. And then, and then in the top right, we can click the Ethereum token address. So just click to copy here, then go back to your MetaMask, and down at the bottom, it says, don't see your tokens, refresh list or import tokens. So we're gonna import the token here, and then we're just gonna paste the address that we've uh, just copied. And it says, here's the Lido staked ETH. So press that, press next, and then import tokens. And that'll be it. Now that should now show your balance. Now I didn't go through with that transaction, but if you did, it should now obviously show the transaction and your balance here. If you go back to the main page in your wallet, uh, you should be able to see down at the bottom Staked ETH is a uh, token now that I've added. And if you have balances there, it will show them.
Another way to see all of your balances and actually what you're earning on a daily basis, you can see this in the Lido uh, profile right here. So come back to Lido, go up to the top left and click rewards and you can see reward history. So this is the wallet address that I'm using right here. It's got no stake teeth in it, but you can see stake teeth balance. You would see your balance here. The stake teeth rewarded, that is the amount of um, ETH in nominal dollar terms that you've actually been rewarded from the protocol. And then the average APR, that's gonna be different for you versus someone else because it's gonna be different every day. Um, there's a different APR every day. It may be 4.4%, 4.3, 3.9, something like that. You're gonna see all of that history and then the stake teeth price right here. If you have any history, it's gonna show you all of these details down here day by day. So you can see day by day exactly how much you're earning in ETH terms and in dollar terms and in percentage terms as well. You can even export that as a CSV file. We can buy stake teeth on centralized exchanges like Bybit. We can also buy it on decentralized exchanges as well. I'll quickly show you how this works on Curve Finance. Curve Finance is probably the best market for stake teeth and ETH if you wanna swap them between each other because it has very low slippage. So you can trade in decent size here uh, and you might actually get a better trade because stake teeth is not exactly like ETH. You get a one for one swap from Lido but in the open market, it may actually trade at a different price and a lower price, which means you might get a better deal. What we can do is go over to Curve Finance. Again, I'll leave the link in the description here. We want to go through to swap, uh, and then we want to swap some um, ETH for stake teeth. So we're going to go to pools and actually see this. You can see the ETH stake teeth pool. Um, so we're going to click on this right here. Now this lets us, if we click on swap, swap any ETH that we have, I'll just put max here, into staked ETH. And you can see you're getting a pretty much one for one ratio, but actually you're getting a little bit of a discount. So staked ETH is trading at 0.99872 to one ETH. So you're actually getting 1.00127 stake teeth for every ETH that you're swapping. So you're getting a slightly better deal on Curve Finance versus uh, Lido, which is giving you one for one. Um, so the reason is, is that stake teeth is not ETH. It's a different token and it may trade at different prices. It's traded really low before, like 0.8. Um, so you can check Curve. Now, some of the advantages here is that you might get a slightly better deal if you just trade your ETH for stake teeth on Curve. The downside here is that um, you will pay a, a transaction fee, which may or may not be the same as Lido. Also slippage, you may suffer a little bit of slippage when you trade, which may negate the small difference in price. Um, and especially if you're trading large amounts, the slippage might be a little bit higher. Uh, so this is just another example of getting staked ETH instead of using Lido. It can be used, it's been advantageous in the past when the trade was around 0.9 to one, but now it's 0.99 to one, it's basically one for one. It is another method you can use to get staked ETH. So what you would do is take your ETH, connect your wallet up in the top right hand corner, um, take ETH, swap it into an amount of staked ETH, click swap and go through with that transaction. You do need Ethereum to pay fees on the gas, uh, fees on the Ethereum blockchain, so always keep 10, $20 of ETH um, that you don't swap and you don't invest in Lido to keep that on the blockchain for further transactions to send the stake teeth out or swap it into something else in the future. How to withdraw your stake teeth from the protocol and get Ethereum back using Lido. For right now, this is not possible. However, within a few weeks of making this video, ETH staking withdrawals will be made possible. And so what you can do if you have stake teeth in your wallet is just withdraw the stake teeth back into ETH. So here's what that looks like uh, with Lido. Uh, this is on Polygon. And as you can see, you have a stake option and then you have an unstake option. So very easily, it's gonna take a, a week or so depending on the ETH unlock for when you can get your ETH back. So you can unstake. Now with Matic, you can see the unstaking period is around three to six days, and then it will come back into your wallet. Same for stake teeth and ETH. There will be a time, it's not concrete the time, it depends on how much demand there is, but with Ethereum, if you have stake teeth in your wallet, there will be a tab here that says unstake, and it will tell you it's gonna take X number of days to actually unstake that. So you can take the ST ETH, the stake teeth, bring it back to ETH, and that will be in your wallet within a period of time. That's how you get your ETH back. Now, the other way of doing it, if you don't wanna wait for that, is again, just to go to a decentralized exchange like Curve, and you can swap this around. Now I'm selling stake teeth back for ETH. That's gonna be instant. That is the benefit of a liquid staking derivative is that if you own it, you can just swap it out on the open market, and the trade is almost one for one, as you can see here, if you need instant liquidity.
I'll leave a link to the Bybit deposit bonus down in the description and the other helpful videos down there as well. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.